Uh, uh. All right. All right. We're going to cut off the old uh, marker light and put the new one on. We have power. We have our truck plugged in, but it didn't work the first time because guys, Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor and we are doing some projects today. We are upgrading our RV, we are installing a Furion backup camera and also some side cameras. Yes, hopefully this goes smoothly. So you guys know we are Lippert Brand Ambassadors and they actually sent this to us. We want to say that up front so you all know that. But we wanted to get one of these for a while because there are times when the backup camera comes in extremely handy, especially if you're a bad driver like my wife over here. Wow, bro, okay. <laughs> totally kidding, she is actually an excellent driver. I'm an excellent driver. Yeah. But uh, there have been times even when I have wanted the backup camera, just because for peace of mind, uh, you don't want to hit anything with your trailer. And then the side cameras will be an added plus as well. The kit seems fairly simple to install, we did pre-run the instructions. That's not Adventure Endeavor style, but we just gave them a quick glance over. And I got a pro tip from another YouTuber. Not, not that I know, I just watched a YouTube video and got myself a pro tip. What's your pro tip? The pro tip is to, first things first, get your LCD screen here, which we have right here, and sync it up to your camera before you climb up on your roof and install your camera. You would hate for some reason to install it and then the camera doesn't work or something like that. So we have our Lion Safari LT and we're gonna try to get that synced up and working down here on the ground. And then once we're like, cool, it seems like everything works, we're gonna install this for the backup camera. And then we are gonna install these marker light side cameras. How cool is that? Super slick design. And we're gonna do our best to show you guys everything. And our 2022 Grand Design Imagine is pre-wired with a dock for this, right? Yes, so it's pre-wired. They call this like the shark fin style yeah. chingadera yeah, thing. Yeah, shark fin. So um, let's, like a shark fin. let's try to get it fired up and show them our pro tip and hopefully I don't look like a fool and the pro tip is actually a pro tip. All right, let's do it. Is this thing on? Is this on? Hello? We went ahead and tested it right here. They give you a little power cord. So now we're gonna go and install it and hope that it works the same way that it's working here. Yeah, you are able to, uh, well, you can't really see the monitor because the lighting's really bad, but there is a um, menu button on the side of the monitor here. It's power and menu, correct? Power and menu. Press and hold is power, and you just tap it once, and that's how you get to the menu. You go to pairing, you, you pair your rear camera, right or left, or door camera if you have that. We only have the right, left, and rear. Cool. So the install up there is really simple, right? It just pops right in? Yes, but I would recommend that if you have a ladder, it might be easier than laying on the roof like me. But if you don't have a ladder, it's doable. If you have the housing, it does come with a housing. But since ours was already rubber sealed and silicone and everything, obviously we're not going to use this because why do twice the work for the same exact thing? Yeah, we don't want to do double the work. That would be ludicrous. Okay, next step once we're done with that is we're going to install the side cameras, which I'll show you what it actually looks like out of the box. This is the side camera. They say that you're supposed to put it towards the front of each side of the rig so that you have a view down the entire side of it and you'll have to pop off this little light cover and then unscrew it so that you can pull the camera out first and then you'll connect these wires into the existing wires. So we actually already disconnected this light, pulled this off, and um, we are going to attach this with these wires. They label them all, all nice and clean for you. Um, to here. We don't have to worry about the trigger light because this is just a running light on our rig. There's no turn signal on this one, so it's just going to be the positive 
and the ground. So we'll get that wired up in a second. So now we're gonna cut off the old uh, marker light and put the new one on. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm actually horrible electrical. So every time it scares me and I've been shocked multiple times. No, no, stop. Okay, which light, which uh, camera do we need? The one that goes upright. This one. So your camera. Yes. Is gonna go upright, like this. So make sure you don't mess it up. So the Furion logo is. Facing Furion logo up. goes up, and the camera faces backwards, and it looks beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna set the camera down, so I don't damage it. Or actually, we should probably wire it first. Shove the wires in there. You're so, supposed to have this disconnected. Yeah, but I just want to make sure that um, you know oh, it's, gonna I'm, I'm, okay. it's gonna fit nicely. And I'm gonna pull the old caulking off. And it does have a nice rubber seal, but I'm probably gonna do a little bit of caulking anyways because the rear camera factory from Grand Design had a rubber seal and they caulked around it. So it's just an added layer of safety because you don't want water going in there. Okay, so we got the uh, right side of the trailer wired up and connected, and uh, we connected the camera. We're just gonna leave it hanging here for the moment. We're not gonna screw it on or silicone it yet, obviously, because we want to get our truck over here, get the rig plugged in, um, and, and get power to this camera to make sure it connects to the monitor before we actually secure it in before place. We screw it, cock it. I'm gonna tape that one out of the way. We're not using that one. Get it out of my way. <laughs> Get that out of the way. We're just using wire nuts and electrical tape as an added bonus safety. Nomad Mods told me that when they were doing our solar. They're like, whenever you use a wire nut, put some electrical tape around it. Just to be on the safe side. We have power. Now uh, we're gonna pop the cameras off so we can get the marker lights screwed into place. And then we'll probably put everything back together and do a little bit of silicone and then get them all synced up. We'll actually, we we'll probably get them synced up before we silicone them. Once the silicone is yeah. the last part. We should get them synced to the monitor first. So let me go grab the monitor. Let's disconnect the power though so I can pull this camera off. Okay. So I'm trying to get it connected. That's the back camera. Cool. Working. Awesome. Sweet. Left. Oh, oh left's oh. already connected. Right is also oh. already connected. So that's awesome. They automatically connected, which is awesome. They're pointing down at the ground right now because they're just hanging by the wire. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna go ahead and screw them in, and then we'll show you guys what the views are once they're screwed into place. Cool. That was that was way easier than I expected. That's so I guess you don't easy. have to pair it to each individual camera. No, it does have a pair button, I think, in case it doesn't work for some reason, but it's probably pre-programmed to pick it up. Awesome. Are you gonna tear the paper off? I am. No, leave it! It's a bad idea. Jesse likes to leave these, like these plastic nice. films. Like nice. He likes to leave the plastic films on until they're literally just shredding and falling off. So now we're gonna screw in the new marker light. So the screw pattern is obviously different, so you're gonna wanna make sure you cover your original holes and the wiring hole so you don't get any water in there. So just make sure it's level and then also make sure you can get the camera out like this because ours is close but it does come out because you need to put those two screws in first and then slide the camera on. So we got our rear camera working. We just gotta figure out how to, oh, there you go. You just tap the screen. You just tap the screen. Tap right. What? Left. What? We don't have a door camera. What? And then that's all three at the same time. What? What? It's got the lines and everything. Oh, that one's a little dirty. Gotta go clean that. So you just tap it? You just tap the screen right now? Is that how you do it? I guess. Just tap it. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you just tap it again? Mm hmm Oh, and then you and can then just you can grab. to this one, and then you tap here, and it shows the whole view uh, of yeah. that one. Yeah, wow, that's cool. That is pretty cool. And you can view. Oh, <laughs> I didn't suction it all the way. We that's might just okay. end up doing some 3M tape there or something. Cool, very exciting. Very exciting. Hey.
We did it. That was actually fairly easy, other than I think me not knowing anything about wiring and maybe switching the colors. I don't know. We got it to work. Trial and error. No big deal. I think the cameras look super clean and in incognito, mm -hmm. especially the rear one. Well, all of them actually, but it was so nice that our grand design came with the rear shark fin already installed. I didn't do any silicone because it's actually getting kind of dark right now. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of silicone just around the top, just for added safety. It does have a nice rubber seal, so I'm not too worried about it. What are your thoughts on it, Like, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm really glad that we have it. Um, it's a nice wide view on each camera, so mm -hmm. you literally have a view of the entire side of the rig on both sides, and a nice wide view in the back, which will be really helpful for backing up. Yeah, I think backing up was kind of like the main thing we wanted, mm -hmm. but now thinking about it, I imagine you can use the side cameras when you're on the highway as well. Absolutely, yeah. Obviously, we're gonna look over our shoulder, we're gonna use our mirrors as well, but it's just like another added thing yeah. with uh, safety features. And so. I didn't even realize that there's an option to get one for your door cam. Mm. To get a door cam. Might have to look into that. up to that too. Because Safety. what we noticed was, we were like, what is this for? So they have the suction cup for inside. I am assuming that you can put your, uh, your display on this guy. And it's just like a tabletop mount. So if you did have the door cam, you could bring your display inside and you can actually be able to keep an eye on whoever's outside of your rig, which is kind of cool. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Like always, uh, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments. Is this something you would buy? Is this uh, worth the price? Which I think it's around $500, I believe. Okay. Um, we'll link it in the description below in case you want to check it out. Anything else, dear? If you have any questions, just let us know down in the comments. Bye guys, thanks for watching.